a little bit later on. Yuma Crossing is a local favorite for both residents and tourists, and as our own Luis Lopez explains, a certain national recognition will help preserve the area while also helping the city as a whole. As one of 55 National Heritage Areas throughout the country, the Yuma Crossing National Heritage Area, which features the Colorado River Park and Territorial Prison Museum, are trying to maintain what they have and help the city grow along with it. National Heritage Areas are different spots throughout the country that represent our nation's history. Locally, Yuma Crossing is one of those areas. However, they're trying to reauthorize their status as a National Heritage Area as maintaining that status is something that is vital for local tourism. So the Yuma Crossing is the, the first spot, the first stop, the first thing that most of our visitors look for when they come here. Uh, attractions are obviously super important to uh, the visitor economy and uh, being able to stop at uh, either the prison or at the Colorado River uh, Park are both incredible assets for the community and they are imperative to tourism here. Keeping the title of National Heritage Area also means more funding. Yuma Crossing Executive Director Lowell Perry says that the funding is key, as it will only help the city to grow along with the parks. You know, there's no reason that Yuma has to continue to be a, a gas stop between Phoenix and San Diego. We are really a legitimate historic destination. Um, if Williams can do it, if Tombstone can do it, we certainly have uh, a longer and richer history than uh, both of those cities, not taking anything away from them. Perry also says that any money that gets put into the area is great locally, as any money that gets put into the parks can help to earn more money for the city as a whole. Other federal funding, other state funding, uh, private foundations, corporate support, all of those things that we bring in as a heritage area come directly into the city and benefit the city and its residents. If reauthorized as a national heritage area, Yuma Crossing will maintain its status for the next 15 years. Reporting from Yuma, Luis Lopez, 13 on your side.